Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and this is bonus episode number one for Stalker Clear Sky. Today we are going to be competing in the loner side of the loner bandit faction wars. Exciting, I know. So, we already have the option to join the loners, since uh, for the main story we had to do some missions for them. The bandit episode is going to have to be a separate episode because while the actual faction battles are the same, uh, you know, we're fighting over the same points with uh, the loner base being here, this and this being the uh, first points we have to capture for the loners, and the second last we have to capture for the bandits, and then these two up here by the entrances, and then this is the bandit base up here. So basically, um, depending on which side you are, you start at your base and you fight towards the other base until you kill everyone at the other base, and then you've won the faction wars. Obviously it's pretty simple with these two since they're not very big factions and they're not very far away. Duty and freedom is going to be a different story. Anyhow, bandits are going to be a separate episode because we have to do their own separate quest line before we can even join them for the faction wars. So we'll get to that in the second bonus episode. Today we're just going to do the actual faction battles, which is going to be a pain in the ass, but you'll see. Wow, we talked to Father Valerian here. A damn good ending. Now the army is going to stay behind the outpost for good. Can I join your clan? Nothing better than the free stalker life. We already know what the stalker code is. Be a bro to your stalker bros. Alright, so... This should give us... Okay, yeah, it actually worked this time. We have to capture this right here. As one of our faction uh, goals. You can see, here's your four goals right here. First one is achieving superiority, which we already do because there are a lot of loners and a lot of bandits. The second is to capture the two entry points to the garbage, and then the third is to get the actual points in the garbage, and then to wipe out the bandits. Alright, so we've got our two objectives now, the other one just popped up, which is this one, to hold that, but we already have that one captured, so we're going to focus on the one we don't have captured at all yet. Uh, I've got a special loadout for this. We're not going from our main game save, so we have some different stuff right now. We're going to be using the Abacon today because we didn't actually use it in the main game at all. Now I did mention this the one time I picked one up, but the Abacon has a special mode. Instead of just automatic and single shot, it also has a two round burst, which is exactly like single shot. Now it won't be so easy for the bandits to get to nope. the cordon. But it's not over yet. We need to start getting Okay, ready for they already captured that one while we were on the way. Okay, there's still bandits up at the other one, though, so let's see if we can get there before they, uh, worry, boss. get We're killed. It ain't gonna end that easily, let's I'm grab a vehicle. Alright, so by the time I got here, they had already repelled the bandits. Not really surprising. Uh, now, one thing I want to cover here is, you can actually see the faction squads on the map are a different color. Uh, well, that one's not the best idea, because he's on top of the arrow. But, uh, if we look at, yeah, this guy here. You can see this one is a sort of darkish green. And that one's a... Oh, come back. This one's a really light green. Those are faction-based squads. They will respawn at your base and head outward to the point. Enemies also have them, because he has a light red bandit squad here, which is eventually going to attack this uh, outpost down here. And until we kill them, uh, we can't actually progress into the garbage. Even though our squads are already doing it on their own. You can see this one's just kind of standing up there. So, uh, yeah. I might have mentioned this way earlier when we were doing the Faction Wars tutorial for the Clear Sky, but uh, the Faction Wars don't really work in this game. You can see a lot of times squads will just get, will just stand around like this, or get lost. Oh, those bandits finally make it through. Yes, they did. Alright, let's drive back to uh, that other outpost again. Probably better to drive this UAS than the tractor I drove over here. So this seems to be working better than it has the two other times I've tried to record this. Because a lot of times you'll clear out a point and it'll say, you know, hold position until your squad comes and secures it. However, that squad will just not show up for like an hour of real time. I've literally left it running for a while and had them not show up. 
because they'll get distracted by every fucking group of mutants and stuff on the way. Even if they're not directly in their path, if they're just anywhere nearby, they will go after them for some reason. Close enough. Let's uh, head towards gunfire. Right over this big old radioactive hill. Oh shit, let's not step on those. It's not here, then where is that? Who are they shooting at? Dead bandits here. This may not be over yet. Okay, it looks like there are some bandits, but they're like stuck in the loading transition. So we actually have to wait for them to transfer maps before we can do anything with them. They should just kind of pop up right over there in a second. It's a really good place Quiet, to be guarding, just staring at that uh, hill. If I'm you've sure got something to say, say it. If we have to worry about radioactive moles, you'll be set. Yeah, now turn your back to the uh, I am all ears. Don't break up, wait! I don't know where this uh, tricked out exosuit guy came from. Alright, so, Guys, as usual, we're relax, stuck yeah. uh, waiting. Oh, here they come. Exciting. I thought we were going to be able to see them over all these bushes. Alright, looks like there's four of them. So just, uh, whoop! That'll get their attention. Okay, I think most of them are already dead. Alright, did we get our next objective properly? Nope, not yet. That'll teach them to stay away from places they aren't invited to. <laughs> it should pop up shortly, though. That part at least doesn't seem to break too often, now that we've secured both of these points. Got our little reward, too. The rewards, not so great for the faction wars, at least not for these two factions. Now we could travel through there, but that's going to put us right in front of a bandit squad, so I think we'll just, uh... I'll just stand around here for a bit and pop back when we actually get our objective. Alright, so I tried something out and I uh, just traveled straight to the garbage. And as soon as I got here, my two objectives popped up. So now we got to capture uh, basically the opposite sides of the two we just secured. Which is pretty easy. Uh, it's the same guys who tried to rob us once before. It's worth pointing out here that if you... Uh, uh, well, apparently they're all dead and mutants have taken over. Well then. It's unexpected. Anyhow, uh, like I was saying, these guys are the guys that rob you. Um, but if you want to join the bandit faction, you have to let them rob you. To prevent the bandits from becoming hostile to you. Look at all that shiny flesh. I'm not sure if I pointed this out, but certain uh, mutants have stronger versions that travel with them. You can see this is just the regular flesh here, but uh, this one with the grizzled old face is a tougher sort of alpha flesh. Just a neat little detail in the way their A-life system works. Where did that snork go? I can hear his gas mask. Also, this Abacon I'm using actually has the uh, the firing speed upgrades to it instead of the accuracy ones. Since I've used those on all my other guns, I thought maybe uh, having a nice fast shooter might be an interesting trade-off. So that's why it shoots so quickly. Surprisingly, it hasn't jammed yet. The fucking Abacon always jams for me when I use it. Alright, let's take out the snort. We also got our 1911 here. Come back here, you. Oh, jeez. You got a friend over there. Sneaky snorks. Be sneaking. 
all day. Nope. Hey, buddy. Alright. Point is secure. I don't know what happened to that squad that was loading in. It just sort of vanished. Alright, this point's clear. Hopefully the stalkers will set out to take over. We're gonna go clear the other one. Switch to fully automatic. Because we're just gonna dump on these dudes. I gotta say, the storm effects look really good with the clear sky complete. Did a good job on that. Not a lot of cover here. Oh, that almost killed us. Gotta remember to save after we take this point so I don't have to redo this again. Since this is like the third or fourth time I've tried to do this. All of them? I could have sworn there was one more guy over here. Nope, I guess that's all of them. Yep, captured both those points. And there's a stalker squad slowly moving up. Only one though. That's unfortunate. Oh, jeez. Something just loaded in the game. Alright, well once we secure these two points, all we have to do is take on the main bandit base. Uh, so while we wait for those guys, I'm gonna go clear out the uh, concentration camp over here. The one that we did in episode 12, I believe. Where they've got some uh, diggers held up. So I'm gonna clear that out while I wait, mainly so that reinforcements from the bandits don't come from there. Two hours later... Seriously, it's been two fucking hours since the last clip. I had to restart this three times before they would stop breaking, and basically what would happen is squads would stop spawning after we captured this point, so nobody would ever secure this point, and I could never progress. However, this squad finally made it through the goddamn loading zone after those three attempts, and uh, yeah. Now we're actually hopefully gonna capture this when they get there and be able to clear out the bandits so I can finally be done with this segment. This is absolutely why people hated Keep Clear Sky. We managed to secure the garbage. I repeat, the road to the garbage is clear and you will no longer have to pay to get in. All that's left is to make a move for their lair and show them who's boss. Okay, now we have to take out the lair. We also have to do this quickly before they capture one of these two points, otherwise we'll get pushed back and have to retake these and deal with all that shit again. So we don't... we want to make sure that none of these squads make it over here. And they're gonna send a bunch of them for some reason, so... Let's try to kill them on the way. Let's not walk into this field. Okay, there should be one dead ahead. I'm gonna try going with single shots. It's just one guy. Okay, now there's actually quite a few. I feel like maybe I should go with accuracy anyway. Because I do not like having to fire this many shots to hit one guy. That's one squad down. Man, isn't Faction Wars fun? I feel like it's not even so much 
the concept of Faction Wars or the way it works, it's the actual programming. It, the fact that it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. It's not even working the way the developers intended, basically. And that's the problem. Also, 13 episodes in, I finally realized I should probably remap my first aid button. I already remapped the bandage one to be convenient, but I've been just using the default bracket key for the vent kit, and that's one of the reasons I've been getting killed so easily. Now I can just move my thumb and heal. Alright, well that squad decided to fuck off and join off with that other bandit group, so we're just gonna leave them alone. Alright, let's try to clear this out pretty quickly. There's a lot of guys here, but they're kind of in a bad place for defending. First we gotta get these guys. that sometimes people take way more bullets than they should in this, but the Abacon isn't exactly a strong firepower gun. Alright, so we got all the surrounding guys, now we just gotta actually clear out these guys. See, there's about 10 or 12 of them in there. Which includes, you know, the, the bandit leader, the bandit merchant, and, uh, Also, over here for some reason. Unfortunately for him, he's only carrying a pistol. I think that might have been the bartender. And this guy is calling for a chamois because he needs to clean up all this blood. Down that sham, you pick up a sham. Wow. All right, so here's their actual base. Um, if you try to attack this without having all the other points captured, this door will actually close and you can't get in. As I pointed out, this isn't actually a great defensive position for them, because they're all spread out in places where we can uh, take cover. A lot of uh, good spots to hide here, so... Uh, well, he just fucking murdered his buddy by shooting him in the back of the head. Good job, I guess. I see you up there. Also, maybe not a good idea for guys with shotguns to be up here on the second floor. Not exactly uh, the best use of your troops. Okay, so here's where the merchant would normally be. Uh, if you can read Cyrillic, you know, tell me in the comments what that means. Or Google translated, I guess. Who knows? What game was it? It was um, Cold Fear, a sort of Resident Evil 4 type game set on a boat where your character could read Russian, so if you pointed at any of the Russian signs on the boat, uh, it would translate them for you. 
which is kind of I thought was a kind of a neat detail. One guy left. I believe that might be the leader hiding in here. No? Okay, I think we already killed the leader then. He doesn't look any different, so it's kind of hard to tell him apart. Alright, last guy. Next time you're in our neck of the woods, drop by our base for a reward. Stalkers over bandits. No more backhanders and payments for passage. Stalkers, I salute you. And with that, we are done. Loners have defeated the bandits. Now, unfortunately, despite doing this, that doesn't actually stop bandits or anything from spawning. It just means that these specific group of bandits are gone. So there's still, as you can see, bandits everywhere. Well, that's not a bandit. And that's not a bandit. These are bandits, though. And possibly these. Anyway, oh, there's still a bandit squad around. That's kind of weird. I guess, yeah, they still have some squads, despite the fact that we have taken their base. So yeah, that's uh, that's the end of the loner side of the faction wars. Now let's just mouse over to see what our reward is. Yeah, so you see you get some decent gear, a Seva suit, Vela's detector, bubble. The Seva suit is something that you actually can't really get any other way this early in the game. But it requires you to go through all this pain in the ass stuff, and, you know, you don't really need a Seva suit this early, so... I kind of find that's the problem with the Faction Wars, is they don't give you anything, you know, unique that you can't just get somewhere else, or, you know, buy later in the game. But instead, they just give you basic gear. It's not even upgraded either, it's just a regular Seva suit that you then have to upgrade. Also, a little bit ironically, this Seva suit is actually the upgrade specialty for the Bandit Technician. So you can't actually max out the uh, upgrades on the Seva suit without, you know, the bandit technician not being dead. So maybe a little silly there. Anyhow, that's that side. We're going to do another episode for the bandits because, you know, we have to actually do some quests for them before they'll even let us do this. Though I am going to cut out all of the battles from uh, that one. All of the battles we just did, you know, for this outpost and this one. And these two, we'll just cut straight ahead to attacking the loner HQ. And then, you know, the rewards we get for that. Which hopefully will make it less of a pain in the ass. Uh, I haven't actually done this from the bandit side. So I don't know if they're less prone to breaking or not. But we'll find out next time on Let's Play Stalker Clear Sky Faction Wars. Alright, already. Right. Whoa! Turn into Slender Man for a second there. I was gonna say already this is a bad idea, but uh, let's try that again with a bit more caution, maybe.